Good morning. Back at English Bay. First time at English Bay with the Manticore. Let's see what we find. Let's get scooping. Well, no matter what machine, these uh, this first couple meters by the first logs are always terrible. Pull tabs, bottle caps. I'm just going to clean up a few here and see if anything else is stuck, but I think it's all just garbage. Oh, nice. Wow. Okay, so the tunies are hitting really nice on the Manticore, unlike the Equinox. And I would have totally avoided that if I had the Equinox out here because this area is so noisy and it just it picked that right out. I could hear it clear as day. All right. So I'm just in beach general at the moment. Sensitivity is at 25. That's about as high as I can get it next to all these buildings and uh, how trashy this little bit of the beach is. When I get further down to the water, I'm gonna go into beach deep mode and see how that works. But right here, there's just so much foil and trash that I'm gonna have to stick to something a little bit more general. Okay, I switched to beach deep mode now. Let's see what how that does.
That was a loony. That was a deep loony. I think it was just about in the side, so it was probably around here. So that's nine inches, at least. Wow. Screwdriver a bit. Very corroded nickel. No idea how old that is, but it's been in there for a while. is this? Oh wow. I've never ever seen that happen to a loony before. Half a loony. Another screwdriver bit. Nice. Huh. Is this bling or is this good? Oh, I think I see it worn through. Maybe, yeah. It sounded kind of junky. Well, that's pretty nice though. Really small nine. Very, very tight target ID uh, map as well. Oh, yes. Sweet. Okay, so at a nine, I'm guessing that's going to be stainless. Yeah, it looks stainless. Awesome. Got a ring! I had a feeling! That looks great.
American Penny. Worn down penny. Okay, just an update uh, on my settings. So I'm still in beach deep. I switched, I was in general way earlier, and then I've been going back and forth when I get to the really noisy spots. But for like 80% of this beach, I'm sticking with beach deep, and I've been really pushing the limits now. I'm up to 30 uh, sensitivity. It is a little, a little jumpy, but honestly, it's not that bad. And I mean, 30 is unheard of. I never would have considered going to 30 on this beach, so. Let's see what this 60 is. Where'd it go? Oh, how did I miss that? It was a flattened penny. Right. A dime. Well, we we'll get up this fishing line as well. Oh, sure.
really crusty. Is that an American quarter? Hmm. Maybe. I'll have to clean that up when I get home. I think I see a Canadian. Fired nine millimeter. That's a new one. Awesome. 1964 Young Liz Penny. Uh, we might end on a piece of jewelry. Not bad. too well in the windstorm. Welcome to the wrap-up. So the Manticore performed very well on English Bay. I had the sensitivity cranked really high um, and it had no issues at all. If anything, it worked a little too well. It was hitting things that were really deep, which I guess is good. We'll see if there's anything, uh, any deep, cool stuff that I've missed over the years. So we got a toonie right away. Uh, toonies sound excellent on the Manticore. That's a, that's a really good uh, good thing to know. <laughs> got uh, two loonies. I've never seen a loony eaten away like this before. This quarter, I have a sneaking suspicion, is silver. It isn't uh, corroded the way it normally should be. I think that's probably from when it was touching something else that was iron and just got transferred over, but just from the edge and the weight, I think that's silver. I'm gonna look, uh, clean it up a bit and have a look. Be awesome if that is. So I have this silver coin I dug up that has a really strong rust encrustation on it. Like, I don't know how this happened. It's a, it is a silver coin, but it must have been touching some iron for quite a while. There's a huge pile of rust on it that I cannot get off. So this is the first time I've tried an electrolyte rust removal setup. I've got my washing soda solution. Um, don't use salt. Use washing soda so it's safe. Otherwise you'll produce chlorine gas. I've got it hooked up to a car charger. 
a little old steel wrench. So let's uh, plug it in and watch. Wow. And we're going to turn on the fan. Okay, and it's only been in the solution for a couple of minutes, and the rust is already coming off. Dime, a young Liz Penny, super corroded nickel, bunch of uh, pennies. We got uh, some bling jewelry, uh, stainless steel ring, and an unfired nine millimeter. So that's uh, something you don't find every day in a Canadian beach. Well, thanks for coming along as I uh, learned the manticore. Um, honestly, it feels a little almost more intuitive than the Equinox. I, I don't know if it's just experience talking now that I'm used to it, but it just is a great machine. I'm really happy with it. And uh, yeah, hope you guys all enjoyed watching. Until next time, this is Scoopy Joe, out.